Hey everyone, Steve here. Thanks for stopping by and watching the video today. I want to introduce April, our MS Office Tips Editor. Hi. We are going to embark on a new little journey with you now. We've been doing MS Office Tips for years, but we're going to widen the purview to include a program called Open Office. Now, if you don't know what Open Office is, it's a really exciting program. It's absolutely free and it can take the place of MS Office for you. It has the same type of things. It has a word processing program. It has a spreadsheet program. Uh, dozens of other little things in there. It's If you didn't know better, you'd think you were using MS Office, but it doesn't cost you a dime. Now, the first step of getting this and getting these tips out to you and getting all this information is for you to get open office onto your computer. So that's where April's going to take over. She's going to show you exactly how to get this amazing free program and uh, I'm going to turn it over to her now. Well, thank you, Steve. Let's uh, begin by taking a look at where we will go to find open office. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is open a browser. Uh, and uh, as you can see, uh, we have World Startup here, but we can't get open office from there. So we're going to need to go to um, www.openoffice.org. O R G. And we'll get a website that looks like this. Uh, we want to download Open Office, and we can just click the download now. And whatever your browser does, um, they all behave slightly differently. You're going to need to go in and save your file to your download area or um, whatever location you choose. Uh, we're going to do a little nice time warp thing here, and we already have ours downloaded. Um, Again, I'm just going to our download folder. If you chose to save it somewhere else, you'll need to go there. And I'm looking for the file that says 000 3.2.1, Open Office Organization 000. And we're going to uh, get that running. So I double clicked on it. And as you can see, the computer is thinking. And um, it's going to. Uh, begin installation process. Uh, while we do this, uh, there may be some, I have to tell it where to, yep, okay, tell it where to unpack, uh, and it's going to extract files and begin the install. If at some point uh, you uh, find it's taking a while, uh, you'll find we're going to do a nice little time warp and get you to the end so you can see how it all works out. And next. We're going to leave the username as Steve, and we'll just move on. Obviously, you'd fill in what you want. Going to choose a complete install. Don't have to make any choices that way, no customization. And away we go. It looks like everything else. Um, I can tell you the download takes a few minutes. That's why ours was already downloaded. It's, it's several minutes. Um, but it's worth it. It's well worth the wait. And we're going to go to a time warp now while it prepares to install. Okay, as you can see, we've now got our uh, installation wizard com finished, completed, and we can click the finish button. Don't need this download location anymore. And I now have on my desktop this uh, open office icon. If you double click it, you will find that um, they do want you to register. That is, is not required in any way, shape, or form. Um, <clears throat> basically, they're, from what I can tell, they're trying to use it to um, prove that there's a significant uh, part of the market now using this program. So that's up to you and they won't ask you again. And then it'll ask you of course for the improvements program. It sends its bits of data without anything personal um, to them. Once you get past all those decisions, uh, this will open and as you can see, we're looking at an office suite. We've got text documents, spreadsheets, presentations, there's a drawing, a database, a formula um, section, there's templates, uh, we can open a document. There's a lot to explore for me too because I'm going to be honest, I'm a Microsoft baby for more than 15 years and that's what I use at my teaching job. So, um, I'll be exploring this the same as you will be and you know if you have questions please get them sent in. Give me those ideas. Um, that's it for today. If you, if you need the, a free alternative for uh, creating your, your documents, there it is. You get it, start exploring and we'll talk more about it. 
There you go. Everything you ever needed to know to install OpenOffice. Now, one thing that we didn't mention just yet, but I want to make sure you guys know it. A lot of times people are concerned when they see OpenOffice. They're like, well, what about, you know, what if someone sends me a Word document? Or worse, what if I need to send them a Word document? OpenOffice has you covered. They can save and accept any kind of uh, Microsoft Office document. I said Word, but Excel, whatever. Uh, it's fully compatible, so there's no worries there. This is a really, really good solution. Probably about the best bargain on the planet, so openoffice.org, check it out. And if you have any questions for us, or if you have any questions for April, worldstart.com slash ask. We'll put the website that's right there. Go click, go, go down there, get there. Ask us your questions. We need your help. Again, make sure if you're uh, not on our computer tips newsletter, you get on that newsletter. You'll be able to get all these great video tips and uh, all kinds of uh, advice and who knows what else. We even have some surprises there from time to time. I'm not going to tell you what they are because that would ruin the surprise. Anyhow, have a good day.